Mr. Speaker, and can I congratulate the Chair of the Select Committee on securing this urgent question. The aviation industry is looking to the Chancellor for leadership, but he's not here today, and they've been locked in a holding pattern once again. While the Treasury dithers and delays, the crisis continues to unfold. 12,000 job losses at BA, a quarter of its workforce, 4,500 redundancies at EasyJet, 3,000 staff at threat of redundancy at Virgin Atlantic. GE making a quarter of its global workforce redundant with jobs at risk in South Wales. Airbus describing this as the biggest crisis in their history. So where is the urgency and the clarity and the specific support package the Chancellor referred to back in March? This is a sector that contributes £22 billion a year to our economy. 230,000 jobs across the industry and the manufacturing supply chain are dependent on it. It needs to change to meet the challenge of climate change. So why did one industry leader tell the Transport Select Committee just a fortnight ago that the government was, and I quote, asleep at the wheel? Can the Minister maybe go back and wake the Treasury up? We've been calling for an aviation sector deal. Can we have one? If so, by when? British Airways has taken taxpayer cash to furlough their staff as as we've heard. Why is anyone surprised by this? We warned the government this would happen. So will the government now ensure that any bailouts come with conditions to protect jobs and workers' rights and taxpayers' money? Will the government ensure that any company in receipt of support from British taxpayers also has its tax base here in the UK? Will the government hold them to tougher environmental targets to achieve our net zero ambition, rather than simply allowing them to go bust through government inaction and incompetence? Finally, Mr Speaker, we have the Home Secretary ambling along this afternoon with a face-saving quarantine plan with huge consequences for our economy and without any publication of any evidence to support it on public health grounds. None of this is good enough. This is an issue for our whole economy. So with respect to the Minister, her department is neither use nor ornament. We need the Treasury to act. The Chancellor should be here. They should have turned up this afternoon. And I hope she'll take that message back in the strongest possible terms. Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. And um, I would like to say to the Honourable Gentleman, and, uh, well, actually, first of all, I'd like to w- welcome to his place because, uh, um, uh, and his uh, appointment as, sh- as shadow. Um, my, um, obviously today I have um, taken the, the uh, urgent question as the Minister responsible for aviation and as the Minister who has been working with the sector over the last 10 weeks in order to understand the impacts and the issues that are related to uh, the air- airlines and our airports and our whole aviation sector. We cannot underestimate that the impact of coronavirus has had on the whole of the UK economy, and absolutely the aviation sector has been uh, acutely affected by that. And we have been working hard within government, and I think that is pretty, um, it's pretty clear for most people to see the unprecedented level of support that the Chancellor and this government has delivered to across the economy and has uh, had a massive impact within the aviation sector. The Chancellor was incredibly clear that any business that uh, had used the, had explored all the government schemes and had that need for bespoke as a last resort, a bespoke support, had the opportunity to enter into discussions with the government. And it is absolutely right that we would request all of those private businesses to exhaust all other options before that, including raising capital from existing investors and exhausting all the economy-wide measures that have been put. The furlough, uh, the job retention scheme, has made a massive impact in the aviation sector in order to keep those people um, in, 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 in employed. And I have already outlined in my opener to the, to, the, um, to, the, to the urgent question that I will do whatever I can as, a, as aviation minister in order to encourage those companies to uh, use the furlough, make use of those government schemes without making people redundant. We have not been asleep at the wheel. Um, Absolutely not, and I'm not sure that's something that everybody else recognises. But a bailout by the taxpayer, of course, and any kind of government support, would include um, um, uh, obligations, making sure that it's compliant with state aid, and we we meet our uh, legal obligations, particularly with climate change. 
In regards to quarantine, the Prime Minister before and PMQs made it very, very clear we need to keep this infection under control, and therefore the Home Secretary is bringing forward measures in order to try and mitigate that. 